That's police body camera footage showing the dramatic and violent end to the shooting on Fountain Square today. Seven months later, Whitney Austin is talking about her recovery and what she sees as her new mission in life. You know, you can see my scars over here. A bulk of the damage was done to my right arm. The scars serve as a daily reminder that Whitney Austin survived the mass shooting at Fifth Third Bank downtown. She was hit 12 times as she walked into the lobby September 6th. In that moment, it was extremely, it was extremely scary. I was uncertain if I would get back to my family. Her story, unlike so many others, has a happy ending. Austin is back home undergoing physical and occupational therapy. She wears this brace three times a day to help with mobility, but otherwise, by looking at her, you would never know what she's been through. Mentally, I feel really strong, and, and that is absolutely because I have replaced all the negative thoughts that come from the shooting and the trauma of the shooting with the work that I have put into Whitney Strong. Now she's using her new platform to educate people about Whitney Strong's mission, which aims to reduce gun deaths and advocate for responsible gun ownership. All gun violence is a problem. We're not just focused on reducing mass shootings. Whitney Strong has three goals to prevent gun related suicides, to pass extreme risk protection order legislation that could temporarily remove guns from a household in a time of crisis, and to make sure proper criminal and mental health records get into the national database accessed during a background check. We've seen a lot of evidence that not all records get into that database. And so in my situation on September 6th, there is a lot of evidence out there that the shooter suffered from mental illness. Now